freedom of being on the open ocean. These are the days we dream of. The ones that make all the other days worth it. Oh, that's amazing! Because it takes a whole lot of this to get to this. We're prepping for the biggest adventure of our lives. We're sailing from Salinas, Ecuador to the Marquesas Islands in French Polynesia. It's a 3,500 nautical mile journey that will take anywhere from 20 to 30 days. We leave in exactly eight days because that's when our Ecuador visas expire. And this is our prime weather window. Ocean passages are dictated by seasons. If we wait too long, the cyclone season will be upon us and we'll have to wait another year before making the passage which means we have a lot to accomplish over the next eight days. What are you angry about? I'm not angry. What are you pissed off? <laughs> Stupid alternator. Stupid. It's not going back in with the new belt because it's so tight. It's like right on the edge of being done, but of course it takes another 20 minutes. But the big question is, have you done it twice? Yes. Oh, well, well then see, it should be right. <laughs> probably not twice. One and a half times. Oh, see, you still have another half time <laughs> to go. What are you complaining about? Uh, dang. Do you see all that black dust? That is the old belt. Just chewed up. Look at that. Nasty. Great success! Great success, yes! The This pretty much sums up boat life. Something that should take 10 minutes replacing a, a V-belt or a fan belt or an alternator belt um, ends up taking me six hours, one trip to the boat store, it took two hours of Nikki's help, and we still couldn't get it on. So then Kent told us, overnight, put it on two bowlins, stretch it out so we attach it to the spinnaker line, stretch this thing as tight as we could get it for, um, what, 18 hours? Yeah. <sighs> Finally, got it on here, just a little bit of tension and was able to, it's just ridiculous. It's so like a two minute thing. <laughs> we also bought an A44 belt. This is an A43, A44 is slightly longer. And we did Google it and a lot of leopard owners have the exact same problem. So tip, if you're gonna do this. Stretch it. Stretch it for at least one day. Yeah. And thanks, Kent. Yes, success. God, it took forever. <laughs> oh, man. It's like no matter what you do, you can't escape this room. I know. Trying to take off. <sighs> Board engine. <laughs> Battery's dead. Fortunately, we bought this thing, had a, a friend bring it in, and it's made for lithium batteries. But apparently, because our alternator belt was slipping, um, it probably wasn't charging the battery all the way, and it didn't even occur to me to, to double check and charge this. <sighs> oh. Amazing technology. That literally took three minutes, four minutes. Batteries charged enough to start the engine. Let's go. Don't get too excited. We're not actually like leaving, leaving. We've got friends that we've made inside the Salinas Yacht Club and they're gonna let us come in, fill up our water tanks because the whole water maker issue and wash the boat and wax the boat. I mean, not for free, of course, we're gonna pay for it. But it's only 300 bucks. They've been super nice letting us use the dinghy dock and everything else. So anyway, we feel like it's totally affordable and a great way to say thanks by offering a little business to the marina and the marina workers, so. Time for Curiosity to get a bath. <laughs> She's going to the spa. It was a massive day of scrubbing, cleaning, and waxing. Curiosity looks pretty good. Nikki worked her butt off on the dinghy. Poor minion. 
She was so dirty. She's still not perfectly clean, but she's much better. This is the high pressure pump on our water maker. It broke a while back, but I couldn't get the parts here in Ecuador. Thanks to my recent emergency trip to Texas, I picked up the rebuild kit I needed. <laughs> is he handing you tools? Let's see it. Can you hand me the speed wrench? <laughs> there it is. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so helpful. That is one way to supervise. <laughs> I need the three eighths. Almost done. With the big projects done, we're down to the little details. <laughs> like making sure we have proper provisions for 30 days at sea, plus reserves. Look at all that. That's my favorite one. <laughs> And how many bars do you have stowed away? I tried counting them the other day, but then I got past 15 and I thought I shouldn't count anymore. <laughs> <laughs> this is as good as ice cream to me, and that's a statement. Their chocolate is amazing. <laughs> Loaded. the home stretch and I'm glad we're so busy because it doesn't leave any time to be nervous. Captain Fatty's book says keep the air in and the water out. So we inspect, clean, and lube everything that opens, closes, and moves. Ready to go airborne! swinging job but somebody's got to do it. It's definitely love hate. <laughs> yeah. They're all having fun. I know, they are having such a good time. Can't be angry about that. Yeah, look at that sunset, Zinga. Yeah, uh, we spent two hours cleaning the chain, getting all the crap off of it. Jeez. <laughs> now we're gonna dive on the uh, knot log, clean it up, and get any other barnacles off before we head out. Technically, we're supposed to leave like five hours ago. But they haven't come and kicked us out yet. They can't kick us out. We got a we got crap to do. <laughs> you gotta really go for it. Do it like you mean it. There's some big ones down here. That's what she said. That's not where that's supposed to be. Of course, you're trying to leave, and what breaks? A hatch that's supposed to be watertight. And 
and you're gonna go on a 30 day sale. So what do you have to do? Get it fixed. <laughs> Super glue does amazing things. One of our other ones has been held by super glue for about a year and a half, so. It's gonna be fun. So much for the super glue. Yeah, it dried out. In less than six months, man. So I got this two ton epoxy. Hopefully it'll work. The good news is I'm not worried about the hatch because it's old and crappy. <laughs> Dear, you're forgetting that most hatches are crappy, even brand new. It's true. Okay. And I'd be lying to you if I said we weren't exhausted because we are. So if you're wondering if it's all worth it, well, this is where I could tell you effort equals reward. Life isn't what you're given, but what you create or better yet, that the harder you work for something, the greater you'll feel when you achieve it. But I'm guessing you already know that. We are, hi Cleo, doing it. Officially underway. <laughs> we were only supposed to leave at nine this morning and it is, I don't know, like four o'clock. No, I think it's like five. <sighs> oh, that's okay, we're underway. And that's going to be our view for the next 25 days. Bye bye Salinas. Bye bye Ecuador. We really enjoyed it.